Hey, Dr. Joe Feinstein with the MD Minute. Thanks for tuning in. And today, a fascinating MD Minute, I think, on common medications. Some are prescription and some are, more importantly, over the counter that can impact on your driving and increase your risk of having a car accident. So this has just been published in JAMA Journal of the American Medical Association Network open, coming from researchers. It's a clinical trial out of Washington uh, University in Missouri. And um, so a little bit of background. By 2050, 25% of drivers on the road will be over the age of 70. And so this was looking at, well, a lot of people as they get older take prescription medications. And most importantly to me, over-the-counter medications, does that impact on their driving skill? Does that impact on their risk of having crashes? So they took 198 people who were over 65. In fact, the average age was 73 and a little more men than women, like 55% men, 45% women. And then they did the following. They did some tests for dementia because they didn't want to include people who had dementia because that obviously can increase your risk if you're confused or anything like that of having a car accident. So they looked at that, but they also then did two other things. Looked based on prescription records at the medications people were taking and everybody had to do a 12 mile driving test to see how well, how safely they drove. So there are some medications I think it's pretty obvious would impact, I think we all know this, on uh, your ability to drive and increases your risk of failing the test or rather if you fail the test, increased risk of having uh, a car accident, a car crash. And so I think one of the ones everybody knows are these things called um, hypnotics, which are things like benzodiazepines, Xanax, Valium. I think people know that very well. Those are associated. They can cause dizziness. They can cause you to feel sleepy, sedated. They can definitely have an effect. But most people are aware that you don't, if you've taken a Xanax or something like that, you don't necessarily want to drive. There was 2.7 times increased risk of failing test if you took an antidepressant. That could be an Effexor, that could be a Zoloft or a um, Celexa, um, any of those, they're different classes, but they work in the same way. And they can also sedate and they seem to impair driving. But the point that I want to make was the other medications, the over-the-counter medications, the anti-inflammatories like Motrin and uh, Tylenol and Aleve. And those ones increased risk of, as you got older, of failing the driving test, increasing your risk of having an actual car accident, again, by 2.7 times. In other words, the same as though taking uh, a hypnotic like Xanax or taking an antidepressant of those two classes. They postulated, we know if you look at the actual drug uh, on the capsule, the bottle, it's going to say may cause dizziness. So people know this. But what they're postulating, which makes sense, is that these medicines are not candy. They may be over the counter, but they can interact with other medicines you're taking. And that seems to perhaps have an effect on vision or dizziness or uh, ability to concentrate. And that might be the reason for people having increased risks of failing the driving test and potentially crashing. So my take on it is look at the meds, None of them are candy. Just because it's over the counter doesn't mean you can take it with reckless abandon. Dr. Joe Feuerstein with the MD Minute. Thanks for tuning in.